Woo! Another bongo video, y'all. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So for today's video, we're gonna do like a little exercise groove. It's kind of nice swing using little bits and pieces of the martillo. Yeah, it's gonna get kind of crazy up in here, but you gotta love it. Welcome to Hair Percussion Life, my name is Eric Perez. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button just to find out whenever I upload. And please, hit that like button. It really does help me out on this little YouTube journey. And for all my day ones, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, all the comments, man, suggesting the videos. And uh, it's just a community just keeps on growing. And I love it, I love each and every one of you as well. I know a lot of you have been asking about the membership program. I'll put a link down below if you are interested in signing up for that. Again, completely a little bit different uh, in regards to just the content that I'm already sharing here on YouTube. Nothing is going to change, but just a little bit more, even some perks to learn a little bit something from me every month, one-on-one. -on -one. It's kind of crazy, but yeah, I'll put that information down below if you're interested in the membership program. So in today's video, I just wanted to show you like a simple groove exercise, a very, very simple pattern that you can try, but I personally use it as an exercise. It really helps kind of develop my non-dominant hand and make those hits a lot louder because I'm putting a little bit more emphasis and focus on these hits. But yeah, let me actually show you this and we'll get into it, y'all. Oh yeah, it's about to get crazy. some craziness man I'm trying to tell you guys you got to love these little exercise patterns grooves ah, it just makes us better man it just makes us better and helps us grow and develop on this beautiful and lovely instrument the bongo so if you notice what I'm doing here it's a lot of uh, little elements of course I'm using certain parts of a martillo but it's not really a martillo it has like a little chop and groove kind of feel that you can actually use in a lot of popular music some funks some contemporary music but again i personally use it as an exercise because if you notice those like left hand hits or my non-dominant hand i should say are just out there They're, those are the ones that are most present and when it comes to this pattern because i'm really trying to make that emphasis out there and i think it's very important to exercise your non-dominant hand especially when it comes to playing the bongo because that's where like your macho is man it's on that non-dominant hand so it's very important to try to develop just that type of technique and so we're going to walk a little bit through it and it's going to be kind of interesting but yeah let me show you what i'm doing so i start this all on the macho literally the the main event the main focus is going to be on the macho. So I start that with the close slap with my dominant hand. After doing that close slap with my dominant hand, I'm gonna do a ghost note or a little fingertip tap with my non-dominant hand, another fingertip tap with my dominant hand, and then an open with my non-dominant hand. And just pay attention to how I'm striking this open with my non-dominant hand. And again, this is just my technique, but you could do it with your index finger, middle finger, whichever one that you personally choose. But again, it's I'm focusing more on the fingers when it comes to the open, but it's really kind of like pronounced. It's really accented. And as well, I'm also using my leg as a form of support. So when I'm striking it, I'm also kind of like hitting my leg. So it really helps kind of kind of elevate that sound. So let's kind of hear that again and then me without hitting it 
with my leg. Let's, let's just see. Could you notice a slight difference in the sound? I'm actually hitting it with the same amount of intensity, but because of that technique, me hitting it against my leg, it really kind of helps elevate that sound. And then to finish this, yeah, very, very fast. Very fast. Then to finish this, after doing that open with your non-dominant hand, you're gonna do another ghost note, little fingertip tap, with your dominant hand on the macho, then another open with your non-dominant hand, the same way that you did it the first one. And after doing that, you're going to do an open on the empra. So to put everything together, And that's basically it, y'all. Very simple, very easy. Now the tough part is just to keep on going. So after doing that open on the embra, you go back to planting your non-dominant hand on the macho to set up your close slap. And that's how you just keep on going with this little exercise groove pattern. Yeah, kind of crazy, man, but you gotta love these little exercise grooves that you can actually try and it really does help develop because again, you're putting a lot of emphasis with your non-dominant hand on the macho and you still kind of have to kind of play with those other elements with the ghost notes and the open on the embra. But to count it slowly for you guys, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 Ah, man, you gotta love the Mongo, man. Seriously, there's just so much stuff that you can learn and appreciate from simple bongo patterns, man. Simple exercises, simple things that really can help elevate your playing. I'm trying to tell you guys, try this out and you're gonna see. It's a lot, you know, more difficult than what it seems. It's simple to learn, but it's like to keep on getting it and hit, hit that macho like crazy, man. Just hit it like crazy and you'll see. But no, no, no don't hit it crazy, y'all. Don't hit it crazy. Don't injure yourself. Take your time. Practice it very slowly, man. Practice it very slowly, and you'll see your tones kind of developing and getting much better through time. But all right, y'all. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.